I told myself if I was ever going to encounter with a celebrity, I was gonna treat them just like any other person. Like the only thing different between me and a celebrity is they got money. When he left here last night, I felt like a female. I was like, oh! Oh! I was jumping everywhere. I was all over the place. I was screaming. I was, I was like, wait, is this bitch? Oh! I was in here lit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so if y'all don't know who he is, man. But all right, man, let's get serious. Uh, yes, Didi Westbrook is on the way out here. He's coming from Minnesota. They just won their game. Um, and I have possession of both of his cars. We got a 70, 76 lap and we got a 73 lap. Um, both school buses. Um, so I'm super excited, man. Um, I can't I can't thank the most high enough. I can't thank y'all enough. Um, we, I, we, look, we as in us, us subscribers, thank y'all for subscribing. We are a team. And we are at 3,600 subscribers. We're trying to build this. We try, I'm trying to build this from the ground up, which we have. And um, I appreciate, I really want to give a shout out to my day ones. The ones that's always commenting. The ones that's always reaching out, dropping pointers, giving me advice. I know I've been super tied up, but I'm actually not taking projects from the public. I'm dealing with him for a while. So, uh, and I did get a little gig. I'm working for someone else. But um, can't express to y'all enough. I'm gonna actually rewind this back in time to where y'all can see me painting this car. Um, I'm a little, I'm, I'm skipping around with videos going back and forth. So yeah, y'all will see the paint process. And then he should be coming in pretty shortly. Um, so y'all stay tuned. He's on the way from Minnesota. He's on a flight out here. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm about to literally meet my first celebrity. And um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a different ball game. It's a different feeling. So, Y'all stay tuned. Y'all watch this process as far as me painting this vehicle. Let's get it. We are we are on the route to paint. So um, I already did jams. I already did the underneath the hood. 
Um, the hood, I'm man, I like I said, I don't want to do too much talking. Got the hood over there, uh, the hood in the trunk. Um, it's time to spray some red, man. This is going, um, it's going a bright red with some red flake, and uh, we're gonna try and go crazy on it. We're gonna try and wet it up, we're gonna do a different, a few different processes. Uh, 79 degree, man, I don't feel like, ah, uh, I'm not feeling it. It's about one in the morning right now. Um, yeah, let's just go, let's just. Let's just cut the chit chat. check out some flake um was gonna do the big flake right here but uh we didn't really care how it looked so we're gonna go ahead and do the shredded flake right here uh, um I, I might drop the sizes of this particular flake here in a minute once i find out i think it's like i think it ends with an eight zero 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 point eight something like that i don't know
we all know, uh, we're in the process of wet sanding and buffing it. Uh, we're taking it with some 13, well, some 1500 grit. We got 1500 grit we're gonna hit. And then right after that, uh, we'll go to 2000 grit. After the 2000 grit, we're gonna jump to the 3000 grit. I mean, y'all know what time after that? The buffing process, which is the past. So, uh, just know that this gonna be some glass when we done with it. Uh, if, I hope y'all can see the angles, man. The, uh, the flex is busting, man. The flex is busting. It's got quite a bit of orange feel. But, hey, y'all see it. Come on now. Come on now. It's there. Let's get it. Oh, look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on now. The best paint ever paint. Come on now. Come on now. That's big, man. Subscribe to your boy Vizo with Wheels, man. Come on, hey, I might have to sign your shirt or your cow one day, you never know. But hey, uh, yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. We just started on the process of the West End and Buffett. It's gonna take a little time. Uh, I'm exhausted, man. I've been here for a while now. Uh, just know we got some more work to do. We got a lot of work to do. We'll cut y'all back on once we, uh, once we start the process again. Uh, we're gonna get it out in the sun, get some pictures out of it. Other than that, man, I'm gonna I'm buy one of my guys out so, here. Yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all behind the scenes. Yeah, 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 time finally got this bad boy hit with some 2000 well 1500 2000 3000 all the way around trunk is done we're gonna start with the compound first i'm um, just already shook my bottle up you don't need a whole lot this is it this is that good stuff
Camera ain't gonna do no justice. I'd say that much. Camera is not gonna do no justice. But that's the concept right there. That's pretty much how you do it. Um, my way of doing it, that's that's just the way that I like to do it. Now, um, like I said, you can go smoother. You can actually have this a lot more like a sheet of glass. But Tom's sake, now if he wants a shiner, damn it, it's D.D. Westbrook. I'm going to take care of it. Uh, but with the Tom's sake and the amount of <laughs> sandpaper that I do have uh, that I'm limited to, um, definitely, definitely going to look good in the sun. It, damn it, this flake is popping now. Like I said, if, uh, the camera does no justice. Look like some red VVSs in here, boy. So, big difference. Big difference. So, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to finish it up, and we're probably going to take a look at it in the sun, man. Let's get it. officially officially not officially done because there's still some things that i want to do to it um we do have this other one <laughs> we do have his other one so um he's gonna take this take it to the interior shop and then after that he's gonna get some motor work done um, i'm gonna have him bring it back that's why i ain't put all the pieces on um because i do i think i do want to go ahead and and wet i, I think i want to go ahead and sand it back down again and re-clear it and then buff it now a, a lot of a lot of you guys might not see it, but I see it, and it's not a problem at all. It's not a big deal. But this D.D. Westbrook, and it's a lack, it's a donk. So I want to do it all the way right. I want to do something I've never done before, and that's to get rid of um, the little bit of orange peel. There's damn near no orange peel. I'm gonna be real, but um, I don't even know. I I guess it's like orange peel to the minimum. Now, when you look at the light, um, I want the mirror, the full mirror effect. I want it to look like you laid a piece of glass down and threw some red tint on it. That's exactly how I want it to look. Um, I know what I need to do to get there. Um, it's just time-wise. I wasn't able to get get it exactly how I wanted it to. And I don't think, I, and I didn't put that much clear on there um, to be trying to do that. I'd have to re reapply some clear. So for the most part, um, I'm super satisfied with it because I buffed this whole car by myself. Well, I had my cousin uh, buff the, the trunk just to kind of give me an idea on how to do it. Um, like I said, I, I hate buffing. I don't like buffing. Will I buff? Probably not. Um, unless you like D.D. Westbrook. Nah. <laughs> but um, definitely came out really good. Minor, minor mistakes. I learned a lot from this car. Um, yeah. Shoot. Y'all drop those comments. Y'all tell me how y'all think. Tell me how y'all feel about it. Um, he should be coming back, man. He's, he, man, the most humble guy in the world. Like, I mean, literally kicked it two nights in a row over here. That that was, 
I can't express to y'all. I feel like a big ass kid in here. Um, chopped it up for a couple hours, uh, learned some game, um, but and you know, kind of gave him some pointers on what to expect on a you know a perfect paint job stuff like that. Told him what kind of orange pill is. Um, but yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, we can get it outside of here in a minute. Um, he should be pulling up pretty soon, and then we'll chop it up. So as y'all see, Cadillac is gone. Um, very exciting. Uh, there's no need to really do a reaction video just simply because he was already here during the process of us painting it, so no need for that. But as y'all see, we do have another one of his cars here and we gonna uh, definitely take our time and make sure that it's A1 just like the first one was. Um, I've learned from my mistakes on the first one. There's minor mistakes, but we got a second one. We got a second opportunity. Not that the first one was a flop. So uh, this is going white. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have my cousins and my brothers hop on this um, just to get me in a, a good position. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be on this car over here. Uh, I know y'all see it. Come on now. Come on now. Set up crazy. But this right here, this is up next. As y'all see, we got the frame already painted. We got the firewall already painted. Uh, now it's time for the, the body of the car. So uh, we're gonna get ready to roll this bad boy in here. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and do it now.
the 1970 MC. Uh, it's going red. It's pretty much going the same red as the Cadillac we did, just no flake. Uh, other than that, man, I, I, it's, it's, it's go time on this. So, uh, like I said, I'll be working on a little bit of body work that's left on here. And then my cousins will be jumping on that uh 1973 lack out there so y'all stay tuned please make sure y'all like comment and subscribe i definitely appreciate all my supporters um just know we got some more content coming from dd so definitely excited definitely glad about the opportunity it's definitely a big opportunity like i said in the message um you got to stay consistent man you never want to give up you don't want to give up especially right before your blessing so you never know it might take you a year it might take you three years um, I feel like I've, I've gotten far just by the opportunity of being able to paint somebody's car that happens to be a celebrity, not only that, NFL player, all that good stuff. So I feel like I'm on the right track. So definitely I, I encourage you guys to stay consistent in whatever you do in life. Um, definitely, definitely stay consistent. Um, I appreciate y'all watching, man. Y'all hit that like button, y'all hit that share button, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I need to work on, man. I'm still climbing. I'm still elevating every day. I got too much to work on, too much to learn, especially when it comes to paint. I feel like no matter what type of painter you are, you still learn on a daily basis. And I feel like that's with any job. So, like I said, I appreciate y'all watching. We got more content coming. And this is not the last celebrity that's on this channel, man. This is not going to be the last celebrity. So, y'all